Hi everyone, this is Vic, back again on another live uh, fragrance review. Today I'm going to review a uh, fragrance from Italy. I'm going to review Basile Uomo, released in 1986, the Italian fashion house Basile. Uh, Basile Uomo is a sheep fragrance. It's a very complex fragrance, and unfortunately, I don't know who was the perfumer behind. So first, let's break down the notes. Top notes are basil, uh, rosemary, thymes, lavender, lemon verbena, amalfi lemon, and grapefruit, and tangy. Uh, heart notes are galbanum, nutmeg, jasmine, a clove, also rose, cinnamon, and black currant. Uh, base notes are Acmos, Leather, Labdanum, Sandalwood, and Patchouli. Uh, this fragrance uh, has aromatic uh, accords, woody accords, green accords, mossy accords, citrusy accords, warm and spicy accords, leathery accords, and herbal accords. So um, what we can tell about this fragrance? This fragrance uh, is a uh, a uh, genuine uh, 80s powerhouse uh, Italian fragrance and very uh, very herbal, very leathery, uh, also uh, very um, mossy. Uh, it's a very strong fragrance. It's a real shipwreck fragrance and is on the same ballpark as uh, uh, Crizia Uomo or uh, also, Bogart Signature by Jacques Bogart, uh, Polo Green. Uh, but most of all, this fragrance remind me Halston uh, 112, uh, which is very, very close to Basile Uomo. And Basile Uomo got perhaps inspired by Halston 112 because it's really, I'm not going to say it's a clone, but it really reminds me. Uh, uh, a special fragrance which was Halston 112. It's greenish on the same time. It's herbal, it's dark, and it's leathery. It's a fabulous fragrance. It's a still in a production by the House of Basile, and um, it's a great fragrance. It's a great 80s fragrance. If you if you like that uh, profile that uh, of the 80s fragrances, which were very complex with lots of uh, notes, with lots of material going uh, on and lots of uh, 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 the, the different uh, and, uh, special woodsy note used because don't forget that the base is uh, uh, leather, sandalwood, patchouli, and uh, labdanum. It's a woodsy and also very aromatic uh, on the same time. And those kind of fragrances are very rare nowadays because nowadays we only make fragrances with few notes we don't we don't make a, a, a fragrance such as basil uomo so um has been uh, known to many connoisseur uh, but less known than uh, for example uh, jacques bogart signature or uh, halston 112 so that's why i decided to highlight this fragrance and to introduce it to you because it's still in production for, uh, and the price value is great you can find a Basilo Uomo uh, bottle for, let's say, $40, 40, 40 maximum. And the, the current version uh, is a great, it's a great reformulation because I knew the Basilo Uomo uh, vintage version and I compare it with the current version. There is a, not a big difference between the two uh, versions. So if you are uh, looking for a nice, 80s fragrance powerhouse italian uh, 80s fragrances powerhouse then go for it because it's very close to uh as i said crizia uomo it's very close to also uh gianmarco venturi uomo mm, you know all those fragrances that were made uh, uh, during the 80s and they they had that italian herbal aromatic a greeny, uh, leathery, uh, woodsy notes uh, and dark notes surrounded with the smell of pine tree. This, these fragrances are masterpieces in their own kind and Basile Uomo belong to that part of fragrance. So if you are a fan of those type of fragrances, then Basile Uomo will surely please you. So, uh, you know, in uh, on this channel, I always try to bring 
fragrances that a few people talk about it, few people reviewed that fragrance. Even on YouTube, really few people reviewed Basilo Uomo. And I don't think even in English, nobody reviewed Basilo Uomo. Because those fragrances are the fragrances that I know, I experienced them, I uh, wore them, and uh, I, I, they are uh, always been in my collection. They always been in my wardrobe. So that's why I, I share it with you because I'm personally doing that for the love of uh, the fragrances and I'm doing that for the love of 80s, 70s uh, fragrances until 90s. And from 2000, I really enjoy less the fragrance game because I found that the fragrances became too simple, too, uh, too um, mass market, too crowd pleaser and uh, less uh, well-developed, you know. I'm searching for a well-developed fragrance. I'm searching for a fragrance that has lots of notes, uh, has a, a real com a complex uh, backbone. I'm not searching for uh, fragrances such as Invictus or uh, such as uh, Sauvage. They only got few notes and the, the backbone is very simple. The DNA are, is very simple. So that's not my type of fragrance. I'm searching for fragrances that have been made by real uh, perfumer that really uh, try to compose something. They try to make something great out of uh, many notes and the complexity of those fragrances made them so unique that even uh, in our time, we are missing them and we, we try to uh, we try to catch them back. We try to find them. Some of them has been gone. Some of them are still in the market. Some has been reformulated, uh, such as Basilo Uomo, but fortunately has it's a good reformulation down over here. And the Basilo Uomo current version, it's a great uh, reformulation. So I really advise you to give it a try. Uh, the, scent pro uh, the scent profile is perfect. The same trail is great and really it lasts eight hours or even eight hours plus on my skin. So I don't know how, uh, if you ever tested Basilo Uomo or you never, uh, I'll be always glad to read your comments and to know if you ever experienced this fragrance. This fragrance is on the, as I said, is on the same ballpark as uh, Polo Green, uh, Critia Uomo, uh, Bogart Signature, but most of all, uh, for me, this fragrance reminds me the vintage version of uh, Halston 112, which was a very greenish fragrance, a very special fragrance. And this one, it's uh, the perfect alternative to Halston 112 because Halston 112 has been reformulated lately and it's not the same it used to be. So this is my take on Basilo Uomo. I wish you to have a pleasant weekend ahead. Um, stay tuned. Uh, we will. I'll be back again on the same uh, channel for another uh, fragrance live uh, review, and I'll be very uh, pleased to share with you my contents. And uh, I hope that uh, you also enjoy uh, the contents I share. And uh, anyway, uh, until then, take care and God bless you all. Cheerio.